Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain um, pleats. After you learn how to create internal line, you can uh, create pleats for skirt or curtain or anything that you want. If you hold your mouse on this button here in 2D, we have three tool pleats, pleats fold and pleats trim. This is automatic pleats. Uh, it's you just select a uh, pleats, start from where and then you it's automatically created pleats and create a line for you on this pattern and this isn't uh, police fold first you have to do something uh to create an internal line then cut them and use them if you want to for example i want to pleat this pattern here and screw into the this pattern that i make it freeze because i don't want to fall off or moving you learn how to freeze it you can freeze it uh, the gravity in a property simulation is zero because I don't want to anything fall down or um, it's because I freeze it, it's going to in a original number. Negative 9n double zero. And now if you simulate, it's drop down except that freeze. Okay. Okay, we have two ways to create pleats. First, I use the manual way i want to pleat this first i have to divide it into uh, the cuts that i want to pleat them so going to the edit pattern select this uh, segment and hold and shift this segment as well you learn before you can distribute internal line between them <clears throat> and i create eight and that's okay and they are selected right click as you learned before trim and add a point to the outline and as you can see we have a separate segment it's very important because we want to fold and pleat this pattern from these segment that has cut going to the pleats this is a fold pleats okay <clears throat> you have to define the pattern with Pleats. Select inside or outside, that's not important. Select and then select here. It's better you selecting inside, you're defining the uh, pleats way. And double click to the end. I cancel it, I think I make it wrong. Double click to cancel, to finish it. <clears throat> this pleats fold window uh, will be open and you can graphically see the pleats type please knife box or occult here yeah, i use it knife or box it does not import reverse direction as we can see uh it's turned the uh, uh, internal lines to blue and red the outside fold uh, and it's used for example it's used this fold tool and folding the in this internal these internal lines to create uh, pleats do not change the angles 360 and zero is okay the number of internal per pleats uh, you cannot change it because we decided eight number here and the fold angle is okay it's okay and everything is done it's folding okay now if you first zero the gravity and simulate and as you can see the automatically pleats happen here as a knife interesting <clears throat> uh, and any pleats that you want if you want to string this part to the this part and this isn't freeze because uh, this is a holder that i don't want to uh, drop down uh, <clears throat> If you have a gravity, you can make it freeze. If you want to swing this part to the uh, pleats file, you have to use the special. You have to use the special swimming for pleats. Pleats swimming. Uh, you have to click and then click define to uh, first edge. As you can see, it's uh, have to pair, press enter, and then define the second edge for pleats and as you can see it's automatically string for you and then simulate as you can see our pleats are creating for us here very interesting okay 
that is our plate. Okay, and done. If you want, you can showing the plate. This swing is special for plates. Okay, this is manual uh, method for uh, doing plates. <clears throat> Uh, another way is automatic. Create another pattern, a long pattern for pleats. This automatic pleat is uh, uh, suitable for a, a specific part of the pattern instead of all, whole of it. For doing that, using pleats. Uh, you have to first uh, select a segment that you want, click and then click. For example, I want to pleat begin from here, and I want to pleat this part. As you can see, you have to select the side. And then if you click the side, the pleat window will be open as before. <clears throat> you can define any pleat uh, type, uh, type that you want. And here, you can define the number of the pleats here. And as you can see, you can define the number of pleats and automatically add the pattern. Here you can define the depths and end and start interval or depths. Do not change them because you have to experiment on them and sometimes the police does not work correctly. Create notch. As you can see, we have a notch trace here. You can for a start or end. This is an start and this is an end. The reverse direction, go in this direction or that direction. And this is an the angle that you want. Any angle that you want, you can create, but 0 to 360 is nice. And it's okay. And as you can see, the pleats will be created in this part, and our pattern will be go longer and simulate. And as you can see, the pleats just uh, happen, in knife pleats just happen in a specific part of the um, pattern. Okay, so you know uh, now the difference between uh, <clears throat> these plates. And if you want to swing them, you can swing them here. Click and click. <clears throat> then enter. Don't forget to enter. And here you can uh, swing it, but in this uh, situation, we have a um, bug. Bug, or you can, the, the, it's not cannot define the swing here as you can see we have some error here because it's swimming this part and as you can see it's wrong so the number of the segments is very important and you have to cut it here if you want but you have to we have to give you an example for this part so now you know how to use pleats and it's very easy and it's straightforward. The most of the time we use the fold pleats here. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.